What up? And g'day viewers, I'm Michael. And I'm Janet. And welcome to this week's episode about the art of gratitude. In this episode, we explore how practicing gratitude can lead to a more positive and fulfilling life. Being thankful for everything from every mm -hmm. single vital breath that you take to the fact that although you may be stuck in a traffic jam, you have a vehicle to get around in. Making deposits into your thank bank offers you a return on investment that will supercharge your life. If you're ready to begin making some really meaningful deposits, listen up. Welcome to the Midlife Mind Compass a podcast helping people in midlife learn to think critically and intentionally to reduce anxiety and stress and live a more purposeful and calm life. What a... And g'day. I'm Janet. And I'm Michael. And today we welcome you to this week's episode about the art of gratitude. How utilising the power of gratitude brings more of the good stuff into your life. Today you will learn the three superpowers that gratitude holds. One... How practicing gratitude leads to a more positive and fulfilling life. Two, the power that gratitude holds in your search for happiness. And three, why the ROI of gratitude makes an investment opportunity not to be missed. Gratitude is where you recognize life as the precious gift that it is. When you are consciously thankful for everything, things like the fact that you woke up to live another day, that you're thankful for every single vital breath that you take, of which I was thinking about today. One of my favourite quotes is, tomorrow is promised to no one, so don't take any day for granted. Or other things, such as the fact that although you may be stuck in a traffic jam, you have a vehicle to get around in. Making deposits into your thank bank offers you a return on investment that just supercharges your life. The more gratitude you practice, the more goodness you receive. Gratitude works like a magnet, like all states actually. The more you live in a certain way, the more you attract of this way. So remember the old iron filing experiment in science class? I do. With the iron filings in the magnet. So think of your emotional state of mind as the magnet and the iron filings as your thoughts. This magnet covers all states. For example, the more you complain about things the more things and people that you will find to complain about. The thoughts you generate follow and fall in line with your state of mind. Grumpy state of mind? Look out for a million grumpy thoughts that mm. are going to come your way like honey to a bee. Bored state of mind? More ennui and bored thoughts strolling in making you wonder, what is the purpose of it all anyway? And an angry state? Well, yep, the angry thoughts are like hornets coming into land and watch the repercussions all around you. More pissed off drivers, colleagues, clients, family members, all adding to the furor of your emotional state of mind. And it's all attracting to you because of your thoughts. Remember what we focus on, we attract. Focus on the negatives and they'll be lining up around the block to star in your life. We don't see or experience things as they are. We see and experience things as we are. Switch over to the positives and guess what? That is what will be showing up for you. That is how gratitude contributes so strongly to our happiness. I once heard a story of a business owner who lost a major client and it felt like the end of the road. Instead of drowning in the frustration, he shifted his focus and practiced gratitude by appreciating the loyal clients that he'd retained and the opportunity to learn from the situation. In time, this mindset attracted even more clients and stronger partnerships. This is the thank bank concept in action. It was Epicurus that said, do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you have now was once among the things that you only hope for. You may think, but how can I be grateful when there is so much going wrong in my life? And it's a fair question. This is where you must open your eyes and hearts and take a good look around you. When we feel broken, gratitude has the properties to heal you. And when a loved one dies, yes, it's devastating and the grief can seem never-ending and overwhelming. However, when you recall the moments of shared happiness with that person and hold them in your heart with gratitude, 
a beautiful healing will begin to occur. This may not be possible until the fog of deep grief and despair thin. And that'll happen with time. But trust me, it will happen when you begin to remember with thanks the beautiful memories that you had together. And I was reminded of a story the other day to DMAC, who we know really well, who lost his wife, Tan, recently. And, you know, he's, he's gone through the very, very bleak moments. But he's actually doing this now. He's just remembering all the grateful thoughts that he had about her and, you know, all the fun times that they had together. And it's really healing for him. Memories can even be held if you're too young to remember. My mum died when I was four. And although my memories of her are vague and a bit scattered, I have a photo of her with me on her knee when I was about two years of age. And every night before bed, I look at that picture and I give thanks that she was my mum. Gratitude shines the light of hope in the darkest times of your life. Gratitude builds resilience, strengthening you to cope when times get tough. And times will get tough. Life is full of wonderful times and really tough times. And to ensure that you get through these tough times, you need to become a regular depositor into your thank bank. So I urge you to start each morning when you open your eyes and remember that tomorrow is promised to no one. So start each day when you open your eyes with the first thought and word that you express as thank you. And why would you do this? Tomorrow is promised to no one. And you, having woken up, have been gifted with it. Even if you've had a restless night's sleep which we all sometimes suffer from, (laughs) be grateful that you had somewhere warm, comfortable and dry to be restless in. There are millions of people who sleep rough every night, alone, freezing and in dire circumstances. And do you suffer from Monday-itis? Well, that's fair enough. If you're in a toxic workplace, yes. So get out of it and find a safe place to be. But otherwise, change your thoughts and your paradigm about it. Change your thought process about Mondays and be grateful that you have a job to turn up to and a salary to live on. Change your thoughts from dreading Mondays to curious anticipation about what the week will hold and what you can bring to it. Re-engineering your thoughts about work provides you with the opportunity to get creative. You'll be amazed. You'll attract better clients, colleagues and circumstances. Starting the week with dread will just bring in more things to make you unhappy. Mm -hmm. When we look at each of the things we take for granted every day, clean, running, warm water for your shower, quality and delicious food for your breakfast, a vehicle to get to work in, a job to go to, a family to go home to, the list goes on and on. Every single moment you will find a reason to be grateful for. Start noticing them. Start making those daily deposits and you will find the return on investment in waves of more and more things to be grateful for. You will have activated a grateful state of emotional well-being and more and more of the good things will begin to come into your world. So begin today by consciously making meaningful gratitude deposits and prepare for the tide of goodness that you will attract. Thanks for joining today's episode of the Midlife Mind Compass on this journey toward being more grateful for all that you have and all that you are in this life. It's been great to have you on board. We hope these insights will help you unlock your potential. So stay tuned for the next episode as we explore and unlock more tools for personal and professional growth. Until next time, stay grateful and start investing. Love and blessings. See ya. (music) 